Hi, how are we doing? This week seven is all about muscle naming or getting to learn the names of the muscles. And it's a great time for BioDigital Human. What we want you to do is learn a variety of the muscles, particularly those muscles that are involved in massage that you would deal with, that you would palpate and those that are involved in sports, especially sports injury, injuries, and some of the common muscles uh, on the surface of your body. So uh, get naked, take off your skin, and look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do right now. Um, and we'll do it bio-digital human, and we'll get the muscles up, okay? Now I have Uh, this is why I like BioDigital Human, okay? You see what you can do? All right. So I have some notes for you. Now, I'll post this so you can get it with this video. This is a set of notes that I developed in the past. Uh, how many muscles are there? <laughs> 639, so you're not going to learn them all. you learn about 45 of them. Um, in Latin, mus, musculus is a mouse, house mouse, and uh, muscle is really named after a little mouse because if you flex your, your arm, you see the little mouse going up and down your arm. The camera's always in the wrong position. That's the little mouse. That's where that comes from. And I got that from Miriam Diamond, who has really good lectures on the muscle system. Uh, if you're interested in exploring that more. Okay, so in this outline, first of all, we list the functions of muscles, moving the skeleton, controlling openings so that you don't mesh your pants, uh, stabilizing the joints, producing heat from motion and shivering. Most of the energy that's used in your body, if it isn't used by your brain, it's used by your muscles. Muscles produce facial expressions and therefore emotions. Uh, that you express to the other people and they protect your eyes and your mouth. The nomenclature of muscles is tough because there are a variety of ways that they are um, named. Some by the shape, for example, the deltoid muscle on your shoulder is shaped like a triangle and some by the number of heads, the biceps brachii, the biceps on your upper arm, the length and the location, biceps femoris, for example, biceps brachii on your arm, biceps femoris on your leg, and by the attachments sometimes, sternocleidomastoid. So this is the prayer muscle. This is the one that allows you to bow your head. It's uh, inserted, I mean not inserted, its origin is on the sternum and it inserts across the um, clavicle and then inserts on the mastoid. And by the way, the origin of a, any muscle is the bone that doesn't move and the insertion is on the bone that is being moved by the muscle. So, um, and the muscles are also classified as to what they do functionally whether they're a flexor, an extender, do they flex your arm or do they extend your arm? Okay, flexing, extending, flexing, flexing, it's flexing, extending, flexing, extending, whether it's your arm or leg or whatever their limit is. Adductors, uh, move limb away from the body, so I'm moving my arm. And the adductors that we'll be talking about are the, uh, the quadriceps that uh, originate on the scapula and insert on the humerus so they can move your arm across your body or away from your body, towards the body or away from your body. Some are supernators, turning a limb backwards. Some are pronators, turning it forward. Remember, supination is holding a bowl of soup. Pronation is turning it down with your thumbs down. Um, 
some movies are pro some muscles are prime movers and they are the main muscles and others are synergists antagonists one that has to relax so if the biceps brachii are the synergists that flex your arm the antagonist are the triceps brachii that have to relax to allow uh, that to happen and vice versa when the triceps are being the prime mover then the biceps are being the antagonist and have to relax and again as I say our origins are where muscle originates and the most proximal least mobile bone and the insertions are the mar where muscle attaches the most distal oh oh typing error most distal the bone that is being moved file see okay and there we've talked about the types of muscle tissue already uh, you've got some information on the physiology of how muscles contract and now I'm going to show you this is the list of the muscles and where they are and what to learn um, I'm not going to go over that here but it'll be there for you now to learn the muscles I'm going to suggest that you divide them into the parts of the body the cranium the face and the back uh, on the back their superficial muscle and then under the superficial muscles are the quads the abdomen four big muscles there to learn the chest basically the pecs and the intercostals um, the intercostals allow you to breathe along with the diaphragm you've got your arm muscles your triceps and biceps and the deltoid that is on the shoulder um, and on your leg on the upper part of your leg on the front of it is the quads and the sartorius that wraps sort of around from the side and the rear is the hamstrings okay and uh, on the lower is the gastronemius and the soleus the gastronemius gives your calf its shape and the soleus is another muscle that provides stability across the knee joint now um, the three groups, the quads, there's four muscles. I'm sorry. On the back, superficial muscles and the rotator cuffs. And then on the lower leg, the quads on the front uh, with the sartorius wrapping around and across the knee and the hamstrings. These are the muscle groups that you tend to hear about in sports injuries um, because uh, they either get pulled or they get snapped or the person is thrown to the ground and their shoulder goes crunch. Um, so you can tear the tear these muscles. You can strain these muscles and, and uh, they're the big muscles, extremely large muscles usually that use a lot of energy and that also are involved in injuries. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at some of these and we'll start with the bio-digital human. There he is, okay. So again, let's go over the outline. Cranium. Okay, and we have some on the neck, on the chest, the pecs, underneath the checks are the intercostals, underneath the pecs are the intercostals. There's your deltoid muscle right there, your triceps there on the arm, your biceps brachii, your triceps brachii, and on the back, the trapezius here. And you can see it's like a big triangle that's a superficial muscle that covers and attaches to the back of the occipitals, uh, occipital bone. Okay. Um, on the skull, behind is the occipitalis, the temporalis, the frontalis, and they're connected at the top by the epicranial aponeuroses, which is also called the galea 
G-A-L-E-A, aponeurosis, and galea is Greek meaning helmet. It's a large white fascia, and you see you have other white, large white fascias uh, that connect muscles to bone. <clears throat> That's not always the case, but it's the case here, and it's the case here too. And you'll notice that if you go to the meat market, you'll see some of this, you'll recognize this if you think about when you look at a big roast and you see all the white fascia that's cut and is layered inside of that meat sometimes. Okay, the butt muscles, the back of the leg, the, the uh, uh, gluteus maximus, and the gluteus medius is right up here, and that's the one that you put a shot in. By the way, you put injections there because there's not a chance of hitting a major nerve or a, uh, a, a blood vessel if you're going to do an intramuscular injection. And um, let's see if I can get this bigger. Well, oh, yep. And uh, so there's the gluteus medius right there. And the deltoid muscle here, that's another place you give a shot because it's a safe place to give it. And the back of the leg are the hamstrings here. Here's the gastrocnemius down here, the soleus on the side here. Front of the leg, the quads. And the sartorius. There's also a gracilis here. Now when you look at these muscles, what you can do with the biodigital human also is you can dissect it. So in the next video, I'll do that. This was just an introduction, but there's a tool up here. Oh, there's a quiz. Where is the tool? Where is the tool? Where is the tool? Oh, no. Dissect. Okay, so if we want to dissect, which means we want to see the muscles underneath, for example, let's uh, see if we can. This is the trapezius. Okay, let's get down here to the, let's take the deltoid off. Now, what I want to look at is the muscles of the rotator cuff muscles. So here's the sub or infraspinatus, that's one of them right there. And then this uh, supraspinatus is, wait a minute, there, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, okay. This should be the teres minor. So there's three of them. You see how they insert on the scapula? I mean, they all originate from the scapula and insert on the humerus. And then we have, hmm, there's a subscapularis, but where is it? This is where the dissecting tool comes in handy. There it is, subscapularis, underneath the scapula. And it attaches to the humerus around this other side. And see, there's the terrace minor. You see how that attaches? So this allows you to adduct and abduct the up your arm. And that's what those muscles do. So you can imagine if you're a football player and somebody tackles you and throws you to the ground and you smash down on your, on your shoulder, if you don't break your shoulder, you could very easily damage these muscles. Okay, so let's leave that there. And then we'll go on to the next video and we'll go step through these muscles one at a time and take a look at each zone of the body as per this outline.